Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you how to install select buttons on an Arcade 1UP arcade cabinet if you don't have enough space on your control board deck. So you can see here for this Final Fight Arcade 1UP cabinet, we originally just had a joystick and the two buttons here on the original version here, but we've gone ahead and added on Player 1 and Player 2 these two additional buttons to accommodate our RetroPie modification. Ideally, we'd like to have six buttons, but for this particular unit here, we just don't have enough space without going into the graphics here, which I didn't want to do. I wanted to definitely preserve this Final Fight graphic here. So you can see up at the top, we have our start buttons here for player one and player two, but we don't have enough room to add select buttons here. We do on player one, but for player two, we just get too close to the speaker box here, and we would have to go into this graphic, and we've already gone into it enough. I, don't, I really just don't want to disturb that any further. And the select buttons really aren't going to add anything aesthetically for us, so we're actually going to put them on the sides here. So I'm going to show you today exactly how you can do this, because there are some arcade one-up cabinets where you don't have enough space to accommodate these, where you just don't want to go in and have to drill additional holes and make the arcade control panel here more busy than it has to be. Uh, there are a lot of really cool versions with a lot of graphics, and with the labels too, you, you kind of run the risk of doing too much on these. So it's nice to be able to put them on the side, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today with a step-by-step -step process. All right, so we're on the side of the cabinet now. And where I want to put my select button for each side is right about here. So I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure out exactly where I want it here. So I definitely want to steer clear of the graphic on the side here. And there is, if you look under here, a spot where you can change this panel piece here and make it go along this um, little edge inside. So I want to steer clear of that as well. So that puts me at about about four inches or so for the edge of my button. So the button's going to be pretty much in this area here between the four and five inch mark. So if I go ahead and mark that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of cardboard here. I'm going to put it right up against the edge. So this is totally lined up here. And just run your finger along. You'll know that it's you know, 100%, as long as you have a straight edge here, you're good to go. I'm going to take my tape measure, and I'm going to mark dead center on that four and a half line. And that's where the middle of our button will go. So I just mark that there and here. We know that that's about where we want to put this. Now, in terms of how far down, Say we want it right about here, so let's see. We'll go with like an inch and inch and a quarter down, I think. Uh, inch and a half will be good. So again, same thing here. Make sure it's right up against the edge, and we'll go an inch and a half down. So we don't even need to be in place there. We'll mark on here, inch and a half down. So here we have a little cross on our cardboard template. Again, if we put that right up, we know that right here is where we want to put that hole. So we'll go and grab our step bit here. We'll line it up on that hole. And we'll drill right in. And we're going off of the depth that we need for our buttons. All right, so once we've drilled the hole into our cardboard template here, we're actually gonna put some tape on here and tape it into place. And another thing I wanna do is I wanna mark this as right side. So I'm gonna put right here, just right side. And the reason for that is when we get to the other side, all we have to do is just flip this the opposite way. We don't have to take any more measurements. In order for this to be in the exact same spot on the left-hand side, we're just gonna put the right side up against the other side of the cabinet. The measurement will be the exact same thing here. So we don't have to go and do any measurements or anything like that. The other side will be super straightforward. So let's take our painter's tape and just line the sides with it. And we're gonna make sure that we're perfectly lined up on the end. And we'll just go ahead and seal that tape across the cabinet there. And we can do another piece across the top as well. Just make sure that you're 100% lined up across the top and the face here, which we are.
and you don't have to go crazy. You're not going to be doing a whole lot um, of moving around here. So once we have our template taped on, I recommend using a drill bit to do a pilot hole here. So I'm going to just do that with this bit here. You can use any size bit really, as long as it's big enough for your step bit to fit into. So we're just going to have to line this up as much in the center as possible here. All right, and that's all we have to do for that. Now we'll take our step bit, we'll put it right in that same hole there, and start drilling in. All right, so once we've gone and drilled that hole, we can go and grab our button and see that it fits right in there like that. And now we're gonna actually jump to the other side and I'll show you exactly how that works with our template. All right, so now we're on the left-hand side of our cabinet. If we take our template here, which says right side, this is how we were using it on that side with the right side there, drilling the hole in this way. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna flip this over. So we had it like this, we're gonna just flip it. So right side is here. And we're gonna hold it up against the edge, just like so. And this is where we'll go in and we'll tape this again, just like we did on the other side. All right, so we just line it up with that edge here. And just push that tape down. And then we're gonna start with the same process. We're gonna do our pilot hole first. So line this bit up dead center on the circle. Nice and slow. All right. And then we'll switch over to our step bit. And again, nice and slow, we'll start drilling in here. All right, so now that we've drilled that hole on the left-hand side, we can go in and insert our other select button right into the hole there. And next we'll put the whole panel on on the front so you can see exactly how everything looks once it's totally done. All right, and just like that, we have all of our buttons fully installed on our Arcade One Up cabinet. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up on this video. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.